So folks, huh, lots of changes going on here. Oh golly, I can't keep up with them. And um, we've been struggling here trying to uh, make sure we have enough meds to get us through for a while. And I'm glad that we did, did do that a little early. We did that yesterday. Um, because our uh, main main um, med or and drug uh, company is uh, quickly running out of many of their meds, but hopefully tomorrow, um, 90% of what we ordered will be here. We are, and then that we did that yesterday morning. Yesterday afternoon, we started working on our disinfectants. It's extremely important no matter how few or how many we have here that we keep up with our disinfectants. And um, sad to say, uh, the main one that we use is a uh, quaternary cleaner. And uh, there's different kinds of quaternary cleaner, but we've used this one and like it. Um, they, I wanted to get six gallons of it and uh, they only had one in their entire system. So we got that one, it should be here tomorrow. Um, so we did find a place where we could get some bleach, which also is, um, good against a lot of the uh, viruses that cats get. So we, we also use bleach, you know, we, we do um, bleach in the morning that does a lot of the viruses, including the fungus. And then the second mop is always the, the, our quaternary cleaner. And then the last cleaner, if we do a, a third mop of the day, which a lot of times we do, that one's just a, it's a more of a cleaning thing rather than a disinfectant thing. And that's all fine too. Um, we did, we use a lot of Otoban. We did find a place finally, it's an off um, store than we usually do. And um, we did find a place where we can, we got a little supply of it. Do you need some help? Oh, yay. This is very precious. I don't want yes. to be the one to drop it. It is very precious. <laughs> so, did everything come that we wanted? Um, They supposed to still come? Yeah. And the advantage is getting shipped from somewhere else. Okay. That's all right. Cool. Wood. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so yeah. I'm very carrying very a very precious of, cargo here. A lot, a lot of money. Okay. All right. Well, I was just telling them things that was going on. So we did 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 the cat star come in too? Is yes. that in there in the Eiffel Tower? Mm -hmm. Is that in there or did you mm -hmm. drop that off? That goes in the top drawer of the, the surgery, underneath the autoclave. Oh. There's the bottle we're using is in there. Isoflurane. Um, isoflurane. Yeah, yeah, we'll go there. Cool. So what we did yesterday, we ordered a lot of the meds that we know we use for um, surgery, and uh, it looks like most of it did come in. It came in today instead of tomorrow. Some of it did not. But this, uh, thank God we had our medicinal Monday because remember la a few weeks ago, that will help us a lot to be able to get some of this paid. Um, what she's carrying right now <laughs> is sad to say is um, uh, over, 2, over, way over 2000 almost $3,000. But hey, Lynette, is that um, is the convenia in there? I have everything in here. Oh no, 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 that's back order. Convenia didn't come. Um, it did. Mm -hmm. Hmm. That's odd. I thought maybe. <laughs> I want, or you can just leave it there. I'll ha we'll have to call them because they have that marked down as didn't arrive. And so they haven't, oh, you know what? That convenient always arrives in a separate box, remember? Because they pack it with ice. They had, they had it zeroed out. Oh, you don't have, 
we didn't get, oh, they don't charge us for that we'll water. Spill that water. Okay, yeah, big deal. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hold two cents. So, um, so we did get the majority of this. There's some things we didn't get, couldn't get, but hopefully we will still get that. Um, we're, so we have surgery here uh, the 28th, February, or March 28th, and that for sure we know we're going to do. Uh, there's one um, public cat that we're going to do. It's a male. I'm very glad this came in, Nance. <laughs> this, we needed to get this. Um, yeah, before the, that's why I told them they were they were going to be in short supply of everything. Um, but we will for sure also then do Pinkerton and Panthe, and then the five Siamesers will definitely also be done on that day. So um, we just found out today, though, some very sad news, and it makes me very upset. That and but I understand. Just because I'm upset about it doesn't mean that I don't understand because I do. Um, Humane Ohio has shut down and <sighs> that's just a bummer <laughs> we had a, had a full schedule on that and that's going to call them and let everybody know it's off it's off for now and um, we also had some for the second appointment in April too and those will have to be called and right now we won't even take any appointments for any of those uh, we will have to wait until they get back on track it just makes me sad because you know we work and we work and we work to try to prevent all these kitties um, the overflow and uh, now that's all put on hold and you know every one of those females that's outside is going to be um, get pregnant yes because of the virus see when we um, I'm so thankful we had the one that we had yesterday we sent you know 42 up and yes and we will get back on track it's just you know we know what's happening out there right now <laughs> cats are getting pregnant and there's just never enough homes for them so what happens at Humane Ohio is um, all these days that they have transports like ours, they also open their doors to the public. And um, at those at those things, they usually have dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of people come in. Yesterday, because of the scare, they only had, what do you say, 15? 15, 15, 18 people um, come in. So that's nothing like what, actually we were their biggest um, person yesterday. So uh, they told us when they picked up and then when they dropped off that they were going to have a meeting and uh, decide what they needed to do because of the very close contact of people and you know we're supposed to keep our distance and that was not going to be possible to do that. Plus they have a huge staff up there. and. Um, they couldn't, they did not feel safe that um, they could protect their, their staff. So they have canceled all um, appointments for now. And when they get, when they give us the word, trust me, we're going to, we'll get that out and we'll get all filled up again and get those um, cats spayed and neutered. Um, so our shelter, our local shelter, has now also closed their doors. They're doing appointments only by, or they're doing their walk-ins only by appointments now. People have to call in, and that we will be following suit with that fairly soon. And you all know that's been on the cam. We only had three sets of visitors yesterday, and today we only had our one adoption. People are trying to stay home and stay away from crowds and you know this sometimes this place can be hopping busy with people and so it is a concern and we will comply to what we're supposed to do and we will be making plans for that and we will do um, like appointments um, 
so that there's not so many people in here. And if we have to go down to a skeleton crew for cleaning and that, we will do that also. We will do whatever we need and supposed to do. I know, it's just a blip. That's all it is, because we are going to carry on. Yeah. So we'll get, um, and right now, other than, um, Tuffy is, I had him on the adoption list, but he's on hold. I mean, on hold for, F, he's on an FFRC hold right now. Um, and that's because uh, his, well, you know he spent those three days up at the vet's office yesterday, and uh, he's just now getting back in his routine, and he loves, loves, loves the office. He's not happy in Kitty Campus. He's not happy in the back or the front or the um, thumpers rooms or the welcome room. He is so much at ease there in um, at uh, the the Palm Art. Because of me. Because of because of Lynette. I did. I did. Little owl. You mean um, our shelter? Yep. And I and. That's who's buzzing my phone right now is the shelter. They're good friends of ours, and we work close with them. Skeleton crew means, well, like today. <laughs> um, we're missing, well, my sister Judy did come in for maybe an hour and 15 minutes. She just groomed. Uh, but, you know, we have volunteers hi, who are in their 80s and in their 70s, and we need to take care of them. And we also have many volunteers who are immune compromised and we have to make sure that we're doing right by them. So if we need to get down to just the very basics here, and what a blessing right now that we have, we have had a huge amount of adoptions in December, January, and February. We've had a lot. And so that has brought our numbers down here drastically and pretty much other than just a handful of kitties, Everything here is residential cats. Um, the other two babies that's up here right now are spoken for. The uh, Siamesers will go very quickly once they are spayed and neutered. I'm sure I've already have um, much interest in them. So it won't, it won't take long for them to be able to be in their homes as well. But right now, um, Lena is adoptable, but that's going to take a very special home that will be patient with her. Alessandra and Giovanna are also available. Um, <laughs> and other than that, um, everything has been adopted out from us, and that's awesome. That's just, we've never been this low. And it's it's a good timing. If it has to be that way, it's good timing that has coincided with this virus that's going around. So... Um, Lil Al, are you talking an update from the government or from the shelter, from our local shelter? I'm not quite sure where you're at on that. Um, so, that's where we're at right now. And um, we may end up, if we have to go to uh, more of a skeletal crew, and, and especially if I end up being the only one here, and Steve, and I might bum... LJ too, and maybe we can get Donna to come. Um, we we may go as far as to shut down a couple rooms like Kitty Campus and even Kitty Cabana. And once we bring those per the, once we bring the Siamesers up here, uh, we're probably going to close down the front and back thumpers room. Just oh, and Gracie, of course. Greasy gold mine, of course, of course. My my list is sadly outdated. I'll have to see if we can get that updated. <laughs> it took a full take long for us to update this. Oh, yeah, Gracie. I'll take care of that. Yeah. That goes in um, the top desk drawer there. And this goes in the, or top drawer under the um, autoclave. And this goes in the refrigerator in the back. And if you would bring me up the old bottle, we'll take care of that. Okay, I'll take care of that. That's good. Okay. We're walking away. Okay, it's all. There, I'll push it so I can't can so knock it over. <laughs> yeah, less cleaning, exactly. 
and less litter boxes, a few less litter boxes, because if it does come down to very uh, skeletal crew, that will help help me. <laughs> but just like today, I put on our volunteer page that um, the afternoon and evening volunteers couldn't come. And my wonderful daughter Dawn offered to come this afternoon and I told her, oh my goodness, thank you. I just got somebody though. And um, uh, Pat and Patrick and Vicki are gonna come tonight and pitch in to cover that person. And this afternoon, um, um, oh gosh, I'm sorry. It has been a very busy day since I got back. We got another visit, another volunteer coming in. If we have something that needs, absolutely needs surgery, uh, I will get a hold of Dr. Darcy. I think they might uh, be curtailing some of their surgeries as well. Um, they're asking some of the vet offices too because if things really go um, medically bad, there is not enough equipment and not enough supplies to help cover. and. Um, many of the drugs are going to be shorthanded, even masks, things like that, and gloves. So they're even starting to go that route to um, do, don't do elective surgeries, which in a vet office, some of those are, the, again, the spades and needles. Right, right. So we will get through with this. We will, and we're going to be just fine. And when things all get back to normal, we'll be opening that door wide open for kitties and cats that need help. Um, there is, there is, um, uh, we are gonna, there is gonna be one more addition here that should happen this evening. And I can let you know, know more about that when, when that um, entry comes in. Yeah, our, our vets are still open. They're just going to probably curtail some of their easy stuff. So there's not so many people in the waiting rooms. And they have a huge staff. Many of these places have huge staffs. Yeah. All right, if you have any questions, I'll um, wait a minute here for it to catch up. Feel free to pop it up there. We are going to uh, have boxes tomorrow afternoon at 2. You got it, Packer. Yep, we are grateful, blessed, and thankful. You betcha. I'm probably going to bring the um, the Siamesers up, and they will go into Patty's place. You know how I always like to have them in a room for a little bit so they anchor themselves to that room so that when we call them, they usually come running, which is always so cute. And so you may not see them for a little, little bit while they, they're getting anchored to their room, and then we'll open that up. Um, Minerva is hanging in there. She's such an old, old cat. And you know what is so sweet? Every single time I go to Chief's Grocery Store, somebody asks me um, how she is doing, and it's so sweet. She... She, I'm not going to lie and say she's very healthy. She's not. She still has, uh, we have to be very careful with what we do with her because um, any kind of uh, extra stuff to her and stress causes a pretty severe respiratory response from her. She can turn purple in a second. So we are very careful. She does take her medicines really well. She probably will always be congested and uh, it's more her appetite. So we have, in addition to her anti-inflammatory and antibiotic, we have now started her on uh, appetite stimulant. And she did eat, eat a little bit better this afternoon. Uh, ah, ne oh, Nika, Nika's birthday. Yeah, we don't ever wanna forget that. Thank you, DeWitty, thank you. That's pretty cool. The outside cats, they're doing very well. They're all doing, going through my head. The fire cats are good. The porchies are good. The Barneys are good. Um, the Kobe's, you know we have some old cats out there. There are a couple out there that oh, is also concerning to me. <laughs> I always have to have something to worry about, right? It's just the way I am. 
but yeah there there's a couple out there that are showing their age and um, keep me busy in the worry department but right now they're all doing really well me too Packer I'm she wouldn't have made it out if she was outside absolutely she was too far gone when when we got her to think that she could stay out there for much longer by herself so and she's happy she's very happy my sister Judy um, got a little bit of Coleman done on her. It's not her cup of tea, but she was really pretty good. Hopey! You want to say hi? Come here. Mama miss you. Oh, my goodness. What are we going to do with you? Yeah. Oh. Thank you, Phil and Bella. Thank you. There's my girl. Oliver's March on the FFRC calendar. Look at this fur. And look at this tail. Where did this tail come from? Where did you get that tail? I don't know either. She missed me. <laughs> she definitely is. And I love it. She's my mom. She's a mama's baby. Aren't you? Snorkel head. Yeah. You okay? Okay. You need your food? Let me find it. Where, here, here it went your service ma'am <laughs> did you see Ramsey over there she was beating the heck out of that this <laughs> you see how it stuck down there oh geez <laughs> Ramsey did that trying to get it down oh he was kicking it and kicking it oh yeah she's pretty yeah she's gotten real big but she's she's um little under all that fur yeah, her tail is like poofiness. Alma was talking, yeah. She says, I need my dry food. We are at her beck and call. Oh, yeah. Hey, Rose, I know. I love her, too. She's, she's a sweetheart. All right. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. If, um... You have been emailing me. I might be very behind. Um, I have just am struggling to keep up with trying to get everything done and supplies in. And today was get the farm supplies in. Trying to get another load of hay. Uh, so keep your fingers crossed on that. And uh, we got some more feed for the horses and the donkey and goat. And more seed for the birds. And... Uh, so they will be taken care of too, I think. So we've been just kind of working on different categories every day of what we need to make sure that we have enough stock here in case we can't get out or can't get the supplies, more importantly. And tomorrow, 2 o'clock, we're going to do um, boxes, and there's quite a few of them. Yay, Ra. Appreciate that. So, all right. Well, I'm going to go get those measers. And I think what I'll do, I'll stick them in a bed and bring them up here so you can, can see them, okay? Yep, we'll get caught up. Yep, it's a crazy time here. I will say that. We'll admit that. But we can do it. We can do it, right? Sure. Oops, gotta grab it. I'm, I will get the measures off. Out of the mouse in there. Well, I took a whole mouse in the mouse. All right. Um, Dawnstar or Vaughn, you guys on? Here, I can switch the cam here. Except I have to play with it to figure no, it out. No, 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 no. Here, you stand. Oh, there we go. Okay. okay. So here's the babies. These are the three Hi. girls. And Beth has the three, two boys. And here, Beth, you want to show them? Mm -hmm. So Beth's got the two boys. You can see they look a heck of a lot alike. <laughs> okay, so there's ways to tell. And we're going to help you explain or help you guys to know. Okay. Okay, these are the girls. This girl here is a seal point, darker, darker points. 
The seal point is called Siamy, S-I-A-M-Y, S-I-A-M-Y. So the seal point is Siamy, thank you. And then that leaves us with the other two girls. Wait a minute, Judy. <laughs> Judy says, but, but this is my area. So the other two girls, these are lavenders. And one is Zuri and one is Zane. They have, these guys have the Z names. And, um... Chucky's having problems. <laughs> uh, let me see your tail. Pointy tail, pointy tail. This is Zane, and it's spelled Z-A-Y-N. Oh, Zane, Z-A-Y-N. And this one has a flat tail. See how it's flat on the tip? I just scissored it so we can tell. This one is Zuri, Z-U-R-I. These are all name of cat names. So Zuri, Zane, and Simi. Simi is spelled S-I-A-M-Y seal point. This one's a seal point. Okay. What? I know. Okay. Is it right? You're going to have a test. <laughs> and then Beth got the two boys. And this one, these are both lavenders as well. This one has flat tail. See how it's flat? So flat is um, zinny. Z-Y-N-Y. Z-Y-N-Y. Another lavender. Zinny, and then this this one is um, Zyvan, Zyvan, spelled Z Y V A N, and Zyvan is the boy has the pointy tail. <laughs> Go on, M K, you can do it. Okay, so real easy. So there's five five kitties. One's a seal point, so that one's easy. Sign me, and then we have two girl, two girls and two boys. One of the boy has a pointy tail, one has a flat tail, one of the girls has a pointy tail, one has a flat tail. Yeah. So there you go. That's yes. how you tell the five. And we will keep these tails trimmed because <laughs> I will have there trouble. There ain't no <laughs> way to tell them apart. So, so we're going to put them in Patty's place just to um, get them anchored in that room. And then after they're happy and comfortable, we'll leave them in and out a few times. <laughs> Okay, you ready? Because I like bananas. <laughs> you like banana? You like banana. Yeah. Okay, Barb, you got that one? Yeah. Good thing you came to the rescue because they're crazy. They're crazy. 